Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support in this reading. For those of you separated from your person, we're going to find out if there will be a reconciliation. Today <clears throat> is the 30th of December, 2022. Time is 1.58 a.m. Mm, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. <laughs> All right, this is a collective reading for air signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same air sign. All right, let's get your reading started. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. Spirits and angels, please show me for air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. That person in separation right now, will there be a reconciliation? Ten of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So the first card that came out was the Fool right next to his Ten of Cups and the world here. I do see that there is a big chance of a reconciliation between you and this person because these are major arcanas. However, there could be a bit of a delay or uncertainty surrounding the reconciliation or surrounding somebody's feelings because the moon here <clears throat> can indicate a sense of confusion so somebody might have to clear that sense of confusion before reconciliation can happen and the ten of pentacles here is in love first that's also a question in regards of will i do better without this person will i be happier without this person <clears throat> or is there gonna be you know it <clears throat> excuse me my voice <clears throat> losing it ten of cups here sorry excuse me Ten of Cups here for me indicates, you know, there's hope for it, right? There's a hope for a reconciliation. That would be like the most perfect scenario right next to these two major canons. However, the Ten of Pentacles here is in love first. So that means it hasn't become quite a reality yet. This could be somebody's imagination with the moon. When I say somebody, that means it could be you or this person could go vice versa. But decision has to be made. And it feels like a decision will be made to try and see with the temperance here if both of you can restore harmony with each other. But the four pentacles, <clears throat> excuse me, one second. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I'm losing my voice. Maybe I talk too much. But four pentacles and then we've got the six of cups and one verse. But there is fear surrounding reconciliation because some bad memories in regards to the past, some, you know, negative feelings in regards of the way things ended between two of you with the Ten of Swords here and one first. So I, I do see there will be an attempt to reconcile, but I also see with the Four Pentacles here that there could be some res reservations surrounding reconciling. And there's this energy where would I do better with or without this person in my life? You know, but since we're asking the question where if there would be a reconciliation between the two of you, <clears throat> a lot of cards here are suggesting that, yes, it is possible, but also we've got the moon here. So uh, the moon can indicate uncertainties, fear, doubts, right? So un until somebody clears his or her doubts, and open up with the Four of Pentacles here. Open up to the possibility that maybe with the Six of Cups here in my verse that there could be a chance for it to happen again. Something from the past. I'm not saying that it's going to happen <clears throat> because the world here indicates the chapter is already closed. Um, but I feel like there could just be fear surrounding it happening again. So it could be you feeling this way feeling more reserved about reconciling with this person or this person may be fearing of reconciling with you, you know, because of the moon here, fearing that 
something from the past might just repeat itself. The Six of Cups here in reverse. Something that is, you know, not happy. Um, bad memories, right? And the Temperance is a reconciliation card for me. So this, to me, indicates that that there will be an attempt to restore harmony between two of you. I just saw 444. Four, four. Check out your angel number if you want to. Um, you can just Google it. I, I feel like I want to pull out a few of these oracles here. very soon so this reconciliation might happen very soon between two of you and this person <clears throat> supposedly is your soulmate right past life relationship perhaps this reconciliation for some of you it could mean that both of you are reconciling in this lifetime because both of you may have been separated as well in the past lifetimes um Hmm, interesting. And for some of you, <clears throat> this energy could actually indicate someone new as well. I feel like this could be someone new. Um, because we've also got the playfulness and the flirt, and it is safe for you to love. Unless, it's, unless it means that, that it's renewed. It feels more like it's renewed. Because the world here is like starting a new chapter. Unless, you know, I don't know, air signs. For some of you, if you were to close out this chapter with this person, whom you could be thinking about reconciling with, I think you may meet like somebody new very soon, okay? A new person whom could be your soulmate. And both of you may have a past life relationship. That's for some of you, okay? But I feel like uh, for a lot of you, air signs, this could be... Um, a reconciliation that's going to happen really soon and both of you um, will kind of reconcile because both of you had a past life relationship that maybe both of you may have made a pact in your past life relationship but some tragedy, I'm hearing some tragedy in the past like maybe not this lifetime but in the past lifetimes when both of you were together in the past, okay? So we've got playfulness, it is safe for you to love, and then we've got flirt here. So the way things, how both of you are going to reconcile is, that could be a flirt, your person might end up flirting with you a little bit, or you might end up flirting with this person. It's a bit of a playfulness surrounding this energy, where I feel that it could turn into a discussion in regards to getting back together, reconciling. Um, and it's safe for you to love, can be an indication of spirits trying to tell you when this person returns or if there is a reconciliation between two of you, maybe this time around it is safe. Maybe this time around it's going to be different because of the world. That means that old chapter is already done, gone, and the Six of Cups in reverse, no repeat from the past, as in past encounters, past hurt, past pain, past behavior, okay? Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius is your reading, and hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs for different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. In fact, I upload them right away, so they are very fresh, very new, very updated. All right, Air Signs, um, hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.